In this tutorial, we're looking at how patches are constructed in Seaweed Audio's Fathom CM. Fathom CM is a super flexible modular synth, and although its drag and drop interface is pretty intuitive, there are a few subtleties to make clear. Let's start by loading a preset. Select the browser button, then either type the location in the top bar or use the browser arrow at the top left to move through your folder hierarchy. You should find four subfolders in the original Fathom CM folder, and these include wave types, modulators, and programs. Open the program folder. We've loaded the preset Crouching Tiger from the Acid folder. On the display, you'll see its three audio components. And if you play the preset, at the bottom there's a representation of the notes played, and in the middle, a frequency analysis curve. Clicking on an audio component selects it. A second click will either bypass it, if it's an effect, turning it green, or deactivate it if it's an oscillator, turning it red. A third click on an effect deactivates it as well. Additional audio components can be dragged into the main signal flow window from the list on the left, and connected with cables. Rather usefully, oscillators are hardwired to the output stage. In addition to audio components, that's oscillators, filters or effects, the list on the left also includes modulators. These are dragged onto target parameters and once assigned, appear in the modulation matrix list on the right. 